Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to get started with Code Sandbox by setting up an account and creating your first basic HTML website. Code Sandbox is an online tool that allows you to write and run code directly in your web browser. It's great for creating websites and apps without needing to install anything on your computer. Everything you create in Sandbox is saved automatically so you can continue working on your projects from anywhere, whether it's school, work, or at home. First, you'll need to create an account. Go to codesandbox.io and then click on the sign in button. The easiest way to create an account is to sign in with Google. Click sign in with Google, select your Google account, click continue, finish completing your profile, and then click create account. Your workspace is like a collection of different projects that you can then share. You can keep the default workspace name or create your own and then click next. Make whatever selections here you want. And then for the plan, the free option is more than sufficient to get started. It comes with 40 hours worth of development credits, uh, five private sandboxes or projects, and then also unlimited public sandboxes that anybody would be able to see. So this is a generous free tier option for learning. So we'll just select this. Great, that's finished. Now the account has been created and we've been forwarded to the dashboard. The dashboard is where you're gonna create and access your projects. If you're ever somewhere else on the site and you need to get back to the dashboard, just go to the upper left-hand corner and click on this square icon. And that'll bring you back to the dashboard. The first thing we're going to do is create a project and projects in Code Sandbox are called sandboxes. To create a sandbox, we'll go to the upper right side of the page and click the Create button. Now we're given the option of using different types of templates to get started. A template is like a blueprint for a project. It's a starting point with some of the code already written so you don't have to start off from scratch. We're going to create an HTML website, so select the HTML plus CSS template. You can give your project a name. I'm just going to call it My Project. We can just keep everything else here as it is and then click create sandbox. Now we're inside the sandbox that we just created and we can see up at the top here, it says my project, which is the name that we gave the sandbox. If you want to get back to the home page, just go up to the top left, click on the square icon and then click dashboard. This brings us back to the dashboard where we were before. Only now we can see that under recent, we have my project, which was just created. To get back to my project, just click, and now we're back. In the left sidebar here, we have the list of files that are part of our project. There's three files, but right now we only have to pay attention to the index.html. This window in the center is the code editor. If I click on the index.html, it opens up the code for that file. This is a basic HTML file for a website. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It's the language that makes up the structure of web pages on the internet. Your computers and mobile devices have special programs called browsers. You might be using Chrome, Firefox, Edge, or Safari. Every time you visit a website, your browser receives an HTML file, kind of like this one, from that website server and then takes the instructions in that HTML file and turns it into the visual web page that you see on your screen. There are two main sections to this file. There's the head section, which is everything that's contained between the head opening tag and the head closing tag. And there's also the body section, which is everything between the body opening tag and the body closing tag. So right now you just have to pay attention to what's inside the body tag and this is the content that is actually visible on a web page. So right now, believe it or not, we actually have a functioning HTML website. This window on the right hand side is the web view where we see what the website looks like. You can also click this button here in the upper right so you can view your website in its own window. This website isn't live right now, but this is exactly what it would look like if it were live on the internet. Going back to the HTML code, we can see inside the body tag, there's another tag called an H1. This is to hold the content for the web page's main heading. Right now it says this is a simple HTML plus CSS template, but delete this content and then replace it with the content, hello world. 
Now you just have to refresh it with this button here in the web view and we can see that the changes are made on the website. Okay, now I want you to go and delete Hello World and I want you to replace this with whatever text you want as your website heading. I'll choose Welcome to my website. I'll click Refresh and the website updates with the new heading. Congratulations, you've just created and customized your first website. This website may not look like much right now, but it's the first step in building something great. From here, you can add more text, images, styling, and build a unique website that tells a story or a fully interactive and animated game or web app. The great thing about programming and web development is that you can build and share anything that you can imagine. So now it's time to go out and create something.